and thank you for joining me, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. Just a couple of reminders. I have my January mini retreat at the end of this month going on. That's online. So the link is below to sign up for that, and you will get the bundle, the designer series paper, the ribbon, some gems, and also your choice of a celebration item the $50 items. So definitely sign up for that. On January 21st, Donna Gray and I have our craft party going on. Again, that's a Facebook online live event. And you just click on the link to join in the US. You want to join through me, Australia, join through Donna, any other country, you can join through me. You just don't get the product. So that's a little bit less of cost but you don't get the products, but you will be able to join our live event. Today is the last day to sign up for my paper share. I'll be placing those orders tomorrow so that I can get them in and get them out to you. Also, my January online card class and sampler class is going to be with Share a Milkshake. Don't worry, they're not all Valentine's Day cards. I know a lot of people say, well, I don't need, you know, a lot of Valentine's Day cards. And then some people do, but I will be giving you a bunch of different ideas with that. And uh, the sampler class is also using that bundle. And you save $5 when you sign up for both. The Sweet Alicious Fun Fold Club this month with Donna Gray and myself is with the Fancy Flora. I already have the video done. That one, we send you links and still shots for the Fun Fold Club. It used to be on Facebook, but a lot of people uh, wanted to join that aren't on Facebook. So we do it with YouTube now. And don't forget to check out the apparel shop. Here is one of the newest items we've added. I'm working on my PhD, Projects Half Done. Who can relate to that? I know I can. Also, I don't have an icon for this, but I am on Etsy. A lot of you have wanted to buy my cards, so I do have an Etsy store now, and it's Stamper's Delight Shop at Etsy. Okay, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do today is I'm a little behind on this because this is actually December's paper pumpkin, but we're gonna have fun with this. Here's my January host code also, if you'd like to place an order with me. So I heard from a lot of you that said, well, I don't need all these gift boxes, okay? And you can put gift cards in there or candies. So I do have some uh, alternatives for you. Now in this kit, you got your ink spot, you got your twine, some very thin, tear tape, your uh, dimensionals, glue dots, of course your stamp set. Mine is already um, over here mounted. And then you got, well, you got these dies cuts that go with the projects. Not that black one. How'd you get in there? All these dies, die cut pieces, and these to go with your projects. But then they also sent extras that you can change things into cards. Here's some more of the die cuts. Here's some more of those little cards. So I'm going to be using these. You'll see these in future videos. I am sure of that. And what you also could purchase as a Paper Pumpkin subscriber is you could add on these already made up cards and envelopes or so that you could make them into cards. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Here's our instruction sheet, which is very self-explanatory. I like to go by the pictures. That's just the way I am. So the first one I'm going to show you is the special delivery. And this is the box that you could make. And I made it so that, of course, I made it loose so that the belly, This I made this as a belly band so this could come off. So there's my little gift card box. But then I wanted to do a little bit of an alternative. And of course on camera I'm not whoop, on camera I'm not gonna get it back in the in the belly band, right? Don't make your belly band too tight. There we go. Great idea for a gift card for a baby shower. But then what I did was I used the designer series paper, one of those cards already made up, and one of those extra die cuts that they gave us that you get in the kit. And I made a matching card. Now this is really cool because I made this into a gift card holder. Look at this. 
So you can give them a little gift card in here. And if you want to give them two gift cards, you can just go ahead and make that into a gift card right there just by using that strip. And I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. So there's an alternative for you. Let's see what we have. The next one we had right here was the congrats. And of course, this is the box. I'm not going to open it. I just showed you how to open it. And then I took the same idea, one of those card, um, an envelope, cards and envelopes, and I just designed a card. And yep, there you go. Made that into a gift card holder. So you could do it that way too. We're going to take that out because I'm going to be using that. So that's the second one. Let's see what else I have to show you. Okay, then I changed it up a little bit, and I used our Celebration Adorable Owls, and I made the Special Delivery Baby one, but I used the little owl on that. When I used these pieces, and I cut the... Um, this paper up, I had leftovers. So I took all my leftovers and I just added those on the card front and made a card to go with it. And this is a birthday card and this is from the newest, um, the Kindly Gnome set that's gonna be available tomorrow. So there we have a gift card box and a birthday card. Okay, let's see what else we have here. I also decided I was going to use the gnome. So let me just show you what I did with this one. This one I totally changed. I just made it with love. So this could be for Valentine's Day. And then I took one of those cards and I cut it, the front of it in half. I glued that down in here and I just made a cute little birthday card. And again, these pieces, this, this piece what back here was a leftover piece from one of the boxes. Here's one of those um, die cuts that they gave as extras. I got a lot of extras left. This is only one kit, by the way. Okay, so I made a birthday card, and I could always use that together. So we'll put that over here for now. All right, so let me show you another thing here. This is the good things come in small packages. And there you have the, the box that I made, just as it shows on the instructions. And then I, of course, I cut a couple of things up here and cut one of the boxes up. And I use those pieces to make a birthday card. So that could be a matching there. I also had the leftover piece that is the belly band there, so I made a special delivery card. I know when somebody sees special delivery, they think of a baby, but you can make it a birthday card. And again, I used the um, kindly gnomes, or friendly gnomes, sorry. And I made a birthday card with that. So you can see you can do a lot of different things with this. I'm going to put these together here. So let's go ahead and play with one of these. Oh, let me show you the other one first. Oh, I'll, I'll start with this. I don't want to confuse myself. So I'm going to start with this one. And I'm just going to show you real quick, if you haven't put the box together, how you would do that. So I have two boxes here. And I have two of these um belly bands and of course I have all these little pieces that are going to go with it so let's start with this box so it's already pre-scored I will get my bone folder if I can find it on my messy table here I know it's here so I'm just going to keep looking while I'm folding this and just fold these back on the perforated lines and for those of you who wait to do your kit until you see my alternates, I apologize but again with the holidays, and I still have a holiday company here. My son and daughter-in-law are here until next week. I am not complaining. We love to have them here. So they've been here for three weeks, and I still haven't gotten enough of them. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead. You can use that tear tape. 
to put this together, but I found you really don't need it. So if I can save it for something else, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so there's my little box. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to use the confetti side. We'll leave that for a second. I'm going to go ahead and close that up. All right. So I am going to put the larger side around the front. Swing it around the back. Very easy to use. Very easy to do. I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal. They give you the glue dots. I don't need the glue dots on here. I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal. All right. Whoop. Got to make that a little bit tighter, I think. I will have still shots later on on my blog here to, so that you can see all the pictures. Okay. Made that a little bit tighter, but I want to make sure I didn't make it too tight. As long as it's moving. Yes, it is. Okay, good. I am going to go ahead and stamp on one of those dies. Uh, yeah, one of those larger label dies. I'm also going to take one of these little guys here. And I am going to put good things come in small packages. Now, it does come with the small spot. I use my larger ones. And then, of course, I use the extra, the smaller ones for giveaways. Whatever I want to do here, I'm going to do good things come in small packages. Okay, that's going to go right on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this a little bit here. I'm going to wrap that around. And then I'm going to grab my dimensionals. Now, that I am going to use from here. I'm going to get my dimensionals out. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook. Uh, it does help when you leave comments. And I'm looking for my take your pick tool. I don't have anything left on this desk here. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, we're going to wing it, and I'll use my scissors. I'm preparing for my Friday morning live, which, by the way, I am going to be changing. I was always on 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be changing that in this during the winter here to 10 a.m., okay? Yeah, I'm getting used to retirement, and I don't like to get up too early. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and take that little die cut, which is the cupcake. Okay. This I'm going to do the happy birthday. So I'm going to put happy and the birthday right below it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a bow. You can actually tie, hook this right on to here if you roll that over, but I didn't want to do that. I'm doing it a little bit different here. So I'm going to make a bow. And sometimes it's easier for me to make the larger bow and then make it smaller. Again, if you don't get the paper pumpkin kit, the link is below to join that. You can do it monthly, three months, six months, nine months, 12 months. Uh, a great time to do the um, six month or I believe even the three month or the 12 month is starting tomorrow because you also get your celebration items with that. Okay, I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to just put that right here. I'm going to use a little of my stamp and seal. Okay. my finger off there okay I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I can still hook this onto here actually could have done that first but you can see that I can bring this down see if I like that nah, I don't really like that so I'm gonna do it this way I'm gonna put this on there first remember this is on the fly I haven't done this one yet okay then I'm gonna add this And there, I have a cute little box. I can trim those off. 
So just another idea. Okay, so a gift card would go in there. So let's do a birthday card now. So I've got this box, same box, same paper. I am going to bring in the card now. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut all this off. So let me grab my paper trimmer. And then, of course, you can use your gems, whatever gems you want. Um, I have my iridescent pastels here, so I think I'll use those. I have a couple of blue ones here and some of those coral. So let's, let's do this. Let's take one of those and a smaller one. Again, since I, my take your pick tool is on the other table, I'm just going to add that. And that one didn't have the sticky on it. There we go. I'll take that one off. So there I have some gems. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to take this box and I'm going to cut all of this extra off right at the score lines. I'll leave that, I think. Might even leave this one, let's see. Nope, this one's gonna come off. Well, it's not gonna come off. I'm just gonna get rid of that little half circle up there. There we go. And maybe a little bit here. I want it more squared off. So let's just take that off. There we go. Okay, so I got that cut down. And that's still too long. So let's cut it a little bit smaller. So you're just really cutting it down. Actually, all you got to do is measure it. <laughs> Okay, so this is five and a half, and now I want to do it at five and a quarter because that's how I'm going to take more off this side. That's about how long I want it. All right, now this one is already the width, but I'm going to keep it long. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to do the smaller part up here, I think. All right, so let's bring that back in. So this would get layered right here, and this is gonna get layered right on top. I'm just trying to see which side I wanna use. Okay, I'm gonna bring that down. I'm gonna show you how I made that gift card holder on the inside of my card. Okay, that's where I want it. So I am gonna go ahead and glue this down right in the center. This one, I want this line right here, or one of these lines, whichever, however long you want it. I want this one. I want it a little bit longer, I think. Okay, let's go with this one. See which one works. This one works fine. Okay. So, I'm going to open that up. And this is going to get layered on there, but it's going to go like this. That's going to be on the inside. Okay. So that's how it's going to be layered so that I can use it as a gift card. So I'm just going to open this up. I'm going to add my glue here. I'm going to flip that back up. Open this up. This I'm going to use that real skinny tear tape because I want my, if I can find the end of it, I want my um, gift card to, hold, to fit in there. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. I really miss my take, take your pick tool here, but I don't want to stop the video to run over and get it. Okay, and I'm going to fold that up. Now, remember, I said this will fit right in there. Look at that gift card holder inside. So let's decorate this now. Now, you've got these score lines, so you want to make, you want to kind of hide those. So we're going to go with this, and I'm going to use the Let's see, which I'm going to use the good things come in small packages. No, I don't think so. I'm going to use a special delivery because this is a special delivery for somebody. 
And again, I'm going to put it towards the side. I'm going to grab that little hat. I want that. And let's see. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. And let's see. I think what I'll do is this right here. I'm going to add that. And this is going to actually go around here twice. So that stays there. I'm going to pull that down. I'm going to have a nice little long piece here. You'll see what I'm doing in a minute. Okay, so I got those two pieces right there where I want them. I'm going to grab my dimensionals. I want this to be popped up. Now, when I have ribbon like that, I like to put a dimensional right over it. I'll put four of those right there. Let me pull that, put that right here. Okay. And then I'm going to grab another dimensional for that cupcake put that right there so it holds up this little guy right here is going to have the happy birthday so definitely subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on facebook um I do try to go on Friday mornings and then Monday nights. Sometimes my schedule doesn't allow that. So I am going to hook it like this. Let's see. I think I want to. What do I want to do here? I think I'm going to leave it. Put a dimensional there. So this is kind of just hanging out here. I know you might not like that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that. See if I like a bow on there. You know, you know what? I forgot I got these extras. I'm going to just kind of leave that for a second. And we got these, I have these extra die cuts from the packages. So I think what I'll do is I'll use a flower on that one. There we go. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to grab the flower. I'm going to put that right here. Look at that cute little card. I'm going to bring in those gems again. Those are the new gems that we have in the catalog starting tomorrow. And we are going to, I think I'm going to use the clear ones on this or the irid more iridescent ones. Let me grab the larger one here, and then maybe a smaller one. And I always like to have one on my sentiment. And for that, I'm gonna grab a larger one. And then one more. If anybody knows me, they know I go through a lot of gems. There we go. So there I have a birthday card, special delivery, happy birthday. This is where my card's gonna go. And then let's see. Cheers and forever. I'm looking at what I want for the inside of my card. I think I'm just going to use for you. For you. And leave it at that. So there we have how I made the insert. Very easy to do. I just noticed that's a little crooked, isn't it? Oh, well. And then I have, the, of course, the um, matching box. So there's another alternative for you. All right, who wants to see one more? You want to see one more? Maybe two more. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to just move this out of the way. Get all these little pieces. Get my lint roller. You know how much I love these lint rollers from the Dollar Tree. And if they're too big to pick up, then I just kind of scoosh it. Scoosh? 
scoot them off my paper or my table onto my floor <laughs> and then I'll clean it up later. Okay. <clears throat> so let's try one more here. Oh, I got one more to show you first. All right. So here is the congratulations. You did it. That's the box. Here's my alternative. But I think I'm going to change that right now. How about, well, let's see. There's that one. Let's see if I'm, let's see, maybe I'll do a different one. Yeah, I think I'll make a different one. Okay, so this was the other box and the alternative. Again, remember, I'll have some still shots for you. I'm going to take, again, one of those papers. Because you saw me do the box, so let's do something a little different. I'm going to take the blue paper. And I am going to cut that at five and a half. So we're going to cut that at five and a half. I'm going to put that right on top here. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is maybe layer that with some white so it shows up better. So maybe I'll do it this way. Yeah. Okay. I just want it to show up a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on there. Let's see if I like this. I'm going to go ahead and layer that right over top. Okay. I'm going to bring in the circle that says you did it. You can change up the colors. I'm just using the garden green because that's what comes with it. You did it. Now I have already from the adorable owls, an owl made, and I have that little cap. So we're going to put that little cap right on his head. Put a little glue right there. Oh my gosh, look how cute. And we're going to go ahead and do that. And I am going to glue this down right here. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to do some dimensionals. And add that right there. We have a cute little card right there. And then I'm going to grab one of those little tags. Tuck that right in there. I'm going to grab the, let's see, for you. Where did I put that one? Right there. For you. We're going to tuck that right there with a dimensional. I'm going to take my baker's twine that came with it. a bow here. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe I want the star instead. Instead of that ribbon. Let's see. Yeah, because he's a star. Or she's a star. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put that right there. I'm liking that even better. Hide that. Take that little one. And let's see. Do I have any mini dimensionals here? I should. I'll use a mini dimensional on that. And oops, oh, there they are. Okay. So we're going to take a mini dimensional. I'm going to take that small star, put it right there. Just a cute little card for. Anybody that graduates. And then let's see, we can put congratulate, congrats on the inside. All right, we're going to give it some dimensional or some 
doodads, as I like to call it. So those pieces that don't have anything on them, we're just going to add some of that. And there I have a card for somebody graduating. Let's see, where's my envelope? There we go. And here's one of the envelopes that would go with it. So there's another alternative. Now I'm going to show you something else that I think you might like. I made two small boxes out of one. Look at that. Now these, okay, um, you can put those Ghirardelli, Ghirardelli chocolates in there. I just want to see if one of my gift cards fit in there. So let me grab one of those gift cards that I had. Where did I put it? Right here. I've got cards all over the place now. I'm just going to see if do, 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 one of these will fit in there. I'm looking for the one I just made. Here it is. There we go. Okay, let's see if a gift card will fit in there. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yay! Gift card would fit in there, but you know what else would fit in there? A bunch of lotto tickets. Scratch-offs. So the way I made that was I took my box and... I just line this up. This is about five and a half, so three and three quarters, half of the box. Looks a little off here, so let me just see if I like this. Uh, this is, nope, it's a little bit bigger than that. Okay, so I'm going to do three inches here. I'm going to line it up at three inches. Cut that. It's about three inches. One can be a little bit bigger than the other. But make sure you line this paper up about the same. So this is three inches. So one and one and a half. Cut those right in half. Okay, now we'll put the little box together. Same way we did before, but we're only doing a half a box. Okay. in there. Fold that one up. So we're going to fold this one inside here. Just like that. This is going to go inside there. So you see what I did? I just folded it up. Now this we're going to glue. And again, you have that little tear tape, which works nice. I'm going to say it again. I miss my take your pick tool when it's not on my work desk here. Okay. And we're just going to tuck that inside there and inside here. Put that together. Then we have this little, I'm, I'm going to use the green side for this one. And wrap that right around just like that. Now for this one, I'm gonna actually cover that belly band up right there. So let's take some of these little guys. Let's see what else I have here. I think I have some little guys already made up here. Whoop, from the friendly gnomes, or I'm sorry, the kindly gnomes. I have this little guy, so we're gonna use him because he's already colored in. Do I have any others already colored in? I have a little bird. And I do have the gnome. I could actually, maybe I'll color that one in. I like that one. All right, so I am going to, where I have that belly band, I'm going to go ahead and put a little glue right here just to hold that twine in place. Let 
Let me bring in some of my blends and just color that in real quick. Okay, so I have the blue. Let's do a little pink. So I have balmy blue here. I have doo -doo -doo -doo, flamingo. Let's use a little gray. All right, so her shoes are going to be gray. And I'm just going to do this real quick here. Her hat is going to be pink. I start with the dark and then I bring in the light. I know some people do it the other way, like I always say, but either way will work. I'm using the nubby end just to get around the corners here. Blend it up nice. Let's grab a yellow for the flower. I'm going to make her hair bright yellow because I have it in my hand. I think this is mango. Yeah. All right, and let's do her dress. I think I'm just gonna go with the light balmy blue. Nah, I'll do the dark up here. Her collar can be dark. That can be dark right there. And maybe a little dark right here. Some color inside here. Blend that up. How many of you haven't had a chance to do your December paper pumpkin yet? Were you like me? It took you a while because of the holidays. Okay, we got light blue there. I am going to bring in my pale, my light um, petal pink. And just do her face and her hands. And she's done. And I got this little bird, so let's do that in a lighter yellow. I think this is so saffron. Light daffodil. Okay, I'm just going to do the bird real quick. And that's light daffodil, but I'm going to bring in the mango and make it a little bit darker here for the nose. All right, so she can go right here like that. I'm going to make this just a little bit tighter. Let's just add a little minute more glue there until I get her down. Okay. Didn't want to stick. Yes, the glue dots would work perfectly. <laughs> I'm going to bring that around. Just a little bit tighter. There we go. All right, so I am going to use our dimensionals here. And one more for the little bird. Maybe I have the little bird on top of her head. What do you think? Nah. Actually, I think he looks cute there. All right, I'm going to put them aside. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them yet. Let me grab one of those hanging tags. I'm going to use the For You because I think I could fill those up with scratch-offs for my mother-in-law, and she will love it. Okay, I'm going to hook this on right here. That's where I'm going to put the bird. I'm going to add this right here. Now, remember, you're not sliding that belly band off, so you can put this on any way you want. I'm going to 
mark that right there and put the bird right there. And there we have a half a box for lottery tickets or gift cards or the Ghirardelli chocolates. So let's do one more since I have it here. And if I don't do it now, I never will. It'll be one of those PhD projects. I know everybody can relate to that. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and fold all that in just like that. And lay some. Now I want to show you, you don't have to use the tear tape. You can use your regular adhesives if you'd like. Save that tear tape for other projects. Just put that inside there. I'm going to bring this one in. Now this one I am going to do as if it was for a baby, maybe. I do have a my goddaughter's shower coming up. And this would make a cute little gift card. What little things could you put in here for a shower besides a gift card? What do you think? Something that would fit. Very narrow. Okay, we're going to need that. that. Right there. We will grab, let's see, this cute little one right here. I think this is going to be too big. So what I might do is cut that down a little bit. I hate to do that because I really like it. So maybe I won't. Okay. So instead, I'll grab... I'm going to be using these for other things. Okay. But we could use a circle. Let's just see. Circle right there would be great, right? Okay. Let's do this one. Special delivery. I have that little squirrel. He's going to go right here. That's going to be layered right on top of my box. Now, if you want your box to stand up, be careful where you put that. And I'm going to put some glue on the bottom here. And I can put something in this one, too. I hope you enjoyed all these new pro projects or alternate projects that I did with this month's Paper Pumpkin. Don't forget to check out my blog, stamperslight.com, where you will see all the projects. Until next time, keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.